Hello, in this video, we'll learn about how to add the validation in SAP LSMW. So here I have already created my LSMW for the creation of Material Master. And as a source file, I have four fields. That is the industrial sector, material type, material text, unit of measure and medical. Five fields are there. Here my requirement is like whenever we upload the data system should validate some fields for example i want to put the validation on metal group whether the metal group which i am uploading from this file whether this metal group exists or not if that metal group is not exit in the system just skip that particular record and go for the next record so in this case, suppose now there is no validation, okay, and if I'm reading my uh, data from my source file, so here system has received two record, display data, then convert data, this I'm showing without validation. display converted data so here as I have two uh, records which what record the metal group does not exist in the system but if I run the batch input session without validation what the system is doing here system will create one record and for what record it will give the error okay here you can see transition to completed and the errors are for the one material so my requirement is instead of system executing all the records and then giving the error logs so before this step i want to eliminate all the wrong data so for that there is a concept called lsmw validations and we have to add a validation in the fifth step that is maintain field mapping and the conversion rule so as I mentioned, my requirement is I want to put the validation at the medical that is a metal group field, which is under the structure ZMM01STR. So for adding the validation, go to this step that is a maintain field mapping and conversion rule. Here I have global data, begin of processing, begin of transition, etc. If you cannot see the those form routines. In your system just click on layout and select all those checkbox by default checkbox are not selected so the screen looks like this okay but for adding the validation we require that form routines to select that checkbox now we can see the form routines so adding validations is just like writing a, a small piece of code which we do in the SE38. So we have to follow the same steps here, but in a proper manner. So very first step is adding or doing our data declaration in the global data. Double click here. By default, you cannot see the, uh, so many number of rows. So if you want to add any new row, just press the cursor here and click on insert row. So you can see the addition row here. So here, first I'm creating a log table error log table which will contain all the errors which are generated at runtime so here item types begin of pp underscore error with same taking mat curl type e 23 mat curl for the material group in sap standard the table is t023 then I'm giving the generating the error log as error. Let's say type string. End of tp underscore error. Now this is type declaration. Now declare an internal table like gt underscore error type. Standard. 
table of tp underscore error. I also required one structure. So I'm adding as gs underscore error type tp underscore error. Along with this, I required one more variable to hold the value at runtime. So gv underscore mat curl type t is 0.23 mat curl save and click on check button. So here, here we can see no syntax error. Okay. So after global data declaration in at this area, go back and don't forget to click on save icon. Here we have to save. Then there is a perform routine called begin of transition. For each and every record from our text file, this begin of transition get executed. So we have to write our coding in this block. Double click here. So here my requirement is whenever I get any new record, I want to validate whether that metal group exit or not. So first I will clear one variable which I have declared in my previous step gv underscore matcal. Now what I am doing select single matcal. This is a table here t0 23. So we can see matcal field is here. Effect. So we can see all the metal group which are there in the system. So I want to check whether the metal group exit or not. So I'm writing the code as select single mat curl from t023 into gv underscore mat curl where now our structure name is zmm01str which I shown in the second step hyphen mat curl okay this will contain the value from our current record from text file. So I am selecting metal group from the standard table for the current record group. Now if gv underscore matcal is initial means if for this particular metal group if there is no record in the standard table then I don't want to execute this record instead of I want system to generate an error log and go to the next record. So if this metal group is initial, then gs underscore error that is matcal equal to the current metal group. Now I want to give a meaningful message to the user, so I am using concatenate concatenate let's see metal group does not exit in this example I'm I'm uh, doing validation only a metal group okay I'm just explaining the concept how to do that in real time you might be required to put this on different fields okay so metal does not exist into gs underscore error error log now append this work area to the internal table that is gt underscore error now for this record there is an error so i have appended that record into my error table now i want system to skip this record so either you can write directly or go to insert global function and select skip transition and if save and check if any errors are there oh i forgot to mention here mat curl equals to now save and check incorrect logic expression and There is error one second. Okay, here one full stop required. 
because this is not the web editor. Now you can see no syntax error. Save, go back, again click on save. Now this processing will run for each and every record. Now requirement is once all the data is read from the system, system should display the error logs, the error table. So for that we have to go to the next form routine that is called the end of processing. So here you can see the end of transition and end of processing. So we want to display the error records at this block. So I click here, right. Errors, let's say color as three. Now I have all my records with the error into table gt underscore error. So I'm making a loop here. Loop at gt underscore error into gs underscore error. If you want, you can also download this internal table into Excel file and save on your presentation uh, presentation server. So here I'm writing at three gs underscore error matical and next and at 20 I'm going to write as gs underscore error the error log clear the work area and loop save check if any syntax error no syntax error I also need to clear this work area in my previous step I think I forget to clear my work area yes here I forget to clear my work area so to add a new line between those two lines the cursor here and then click on insert row okay save and check no error again save we can also put a breakpoint if you want to monitor the record over here now first let me check my file so i have to record in a file for this the flat this metal group is there in the system and this flat 133 does not exit into the system here i have already assigned my file so i am directly going to read my data and we read data here you can see the two records are read from the uh, the text file display read data two records are read convert data now whatever logic we have written in the fill mapping and conversion rule that could execute it when we click on the convert data okay now as soon as I click on convert data so here you can see the records reads are two from the file but transition written only one okay because for one transition there is an error what is the error material description flag 133 does not exist okay so system will skip this record and will process the transition only for one record which is correct let's move it display converted data so here you can see only one record with the material group as flat okay here we are seeing two rows because the structure is different now execute the last step that is the start direct input method now here in this ls and w i use direct input method but same concept of validation we can use for any kind of ls and w whether it is a direct input method recording method ad hoc method for all this concept will work Start a transition code, execute. 
Now here this time we see the system has processed only one record and there is no error. As in the current file only three records or two records were there. Okay, but in real time we might be uploading thousands or two thousands of records. So at that time if you are not adding any validations, so our process time get increased. Okay, so it is better to add validation and clean all the data with wrong details, wrong metal groups on wrong transfer master data. Okay, so in this way we can add the validations into the LSMW, in the steps, maintain field mapping and the conversion tools. Thank you.